end of a full day helping her and because she had some money I'm selling some of her birds she grew up raised she bought me lunch today twice I bought lunch and then bought a smoothie which actually I got a horchata drink it was freaking really good and she gave me these overripe bananas she didn't need she had too many that got ripe for the birds and I think she bought me these apples and these probiotic prunes that I wanted from the store she just rang them up with her stuff we had a full car of groceries took it in checked the generator shed batteries looking okay still don't seem like they're staying fully charged like they should but we'll figure it out maybe there's one more bad cell that I can replace that's what we get using used batteries I guess but save a lot of money buying them Stratified, I think that's what one of the batteries is because it's reading higher voltage. I need to like knock it, maybe tilt it, get it so we can desulfate the lower, you know, get the electrolyte mixed, mixed evenly. It's carrying a high surface voltage. That or just hopefully invest in more lithium batteries and deal with having lower capacity but more, more efficiently functioning batteries. Break 
his cycle of finding men and not committing to them. He's just kind of continue this cycle and get back into loneliness and then, oh, find the next man and, and you know, fail again and then get back into loneliness. Poor girl. <sighs> so I'm trying to be strong and adapt, be more, uh, be more of a man so that I can find a woman who's more of a complete woman. I'll be more of a complete man and it'll balance each other. It'll be the right dynamic. She'll feel safe and I'll feel supported. That's the goal. At least uh, I feel like it would help me to have uh, female energy with my team. I mean, we, had, we were a good team when she was here for that short month or less than a month. And could have been down to do sharing society and helping people and stuff. But it's different. She's not she's not into it like that, like I am, she's more of you know, I don't know, or she just literally, she really saw it as a reason for me not to dedicate as much as I can to her, which is kind of ridiculous, um, subconsciously expecting this commitment from me to do the best I can for her when she's a uncommit, uncommittal, non-committal person like me to risk everything for someone who's just gonna up and leave me over nothing like over an argument not not explain to me properly what really happened or what she's feeling all the time we seemed to have, we had a good communication for a few you know months there and i thought we had a good communication when she was here although she held back some of her distaste for my lifestyle and things It is what it is. Now she goes on and she can miss me and but not be able to express express this express in some form that missing me is anger and resentment and playing down our connection. I, I know the I know the truth. I know my truth. She'll know her truth. She doesn't have to, you know, I'm not obligating her to talk to me. I try to really hard to get some communication going to for my own, for myself, for me to get closure, for me to move on with life. It's like she doesn't even want that. She can't even handle that. She can't handle giving me the closure I need. She just wants to pretend like she can ignore me and that's, you know, the best she can do, I guess. No, that's what it is. Moving on, I'm going to try not to date seriously until my end of my commitment of trying for a year. I told her a few multiple times last year. So that's that. It's only five months away. So I feel like I could do it now. Before I was just completely in despair that I felt, you know, such in, in such need of somebody to tell me that it's okay. Life is going to be okay. Life's worth living, you know. But I'm there. I think life's worth living. Still playing the game. Still seeing what's what's in store. Still want to uplift humanity, change the world. You know, my daily thoughts video. Maybe I should upload it. Eight minutes long. It's gonna take a long time to transfer to my phone if I did it that way. I have to take this home, put the memory stick in the computer, and do it that way. And then probably compress the file so it doesn't take like 20 minutes to upload. So instead of 20 minutes to upload. I'll spend five minutes to transcode it and then five minutes to upload it. <laughs> so 10 minutes versus 20 minutes. 10 minutes plus some extra ta extra steps. And it's computer stuff. It's because this GoPro saved in such high quality, like it probably unnecessarily high quality. I wish it was like a camera you could actually change the bit rate lower, lower quality. But maybe it's just it's just literally maybe too small to have that kind of computer processing power on hand. So it's just like saving it in the raw, full, you know, full bit rate, it, it, it picks up from a sensor and such. Right now I'm probably talking a little too technical for y'all, <laughs> for most of y'all. But at least, at least I'm watching the road and not trying to look into your eyes. But anyway, peace and love, baby.